What is up you guys? It's Katya Bulks. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another full day of eating. So I felt like doing today's full day of eating because I'm back to doing traditional carb cycling. So today's my low carb day. Now I actually have to head off to like a third part interview thing. Um, news coming later. If it works out, you never know. But I'm just gonna have coffee for now because the interview is in 45 minutes and the place is you know 15 minutes away so 30 minutes roughly yay math okay that's what happens when you study accounting and numbers just run through your head okay guys um i'll catch you in the kitchen i guess So I just finished my coffee, but I just want to say that usually I have cashew milk in my coffee, but I recently tried flax milk, even though I had tried it in the past and didn't care for it that much. Retried it again, and I really like it. So I'm on this flax milk um, kick. The macros are super friendly, just almost ideally like the um, cashew milk, like 0.5 fat more, but much creamier. So I like it a lot in my coffee or my tea, so. Go give it a try. Okay, I'm back and turns out that was just a formality because I got the job and I'm so excited like because today is Tuesday. I have to fly out Saturday to Australia for my training. I don't want to give like away the name of the company that I'll be working for and stuff like that. But yeah, they're based in Australia. I mean, the office is going to be really close to my house. So I'll be gone for a week in Australia. It's not something I can vlog, I'm sorry, um, because it'll be all business uh, related, training, that kind of stuff. So unfortunately, it's not as much pleasure. I'll have like one down day when I get there. Um, but yeah, I gotta go to freaking Australia. <laughs> okay, but for now, yo girl is hungry. And I've got a lot of fats to fit on my low carb day. So I'm gonna have some nut butter on a rice cake or I'll make a protein like oh I'm gonna make it with zucchini protein so it's whatever you know what I mean you guys have seen it before all right so I got my bowl and I put some shredded coconut but inside are the zucchini I did some TVP and added some flax seed and then mixed it with a little bit of water and a flax milk and then yeah so coconut shreds of course, we're using my Modus protein. This is delicious. Added a little extra cocoa powder to make it extra chocolatey. And a nice serving of chunky peanut butter because you know your girl loves her peanut butter. So yeah, I'm gonna eat this right now. So since like the macros are super low actually on that meal, I'm going to have a thin rice cake and put on top of it this argan like almond butter with coconut. It tastes so good. I got it at Costco. But yeah, they include some like argan oil in it. Um, you know that stuff that you put in your hair, but then it's got coconut and it just tastes amazing. So I'm gonna have one thin rice cake and slather some of this on it because your girl loves her nut butters. Mm. So this is actually my second rice cake. I had the almond butter one, but this one I put sunflower seed butter on because I just I love all butters. All butters equally well. I think I like peanut butter most. Yeah. Plus, I think I'm gonna go to the gym soon. So put a little more fuel in my body before I got my workout in. Yeah. And I think I'm gonna make a cup of decaf coffee. Yeah, because I just, I love the taste of coffee, but I don't want all the caffeine, and I'm gonna take pre-workout later, so yeah. So last minute, uh, realizing that I am gonna go to the gym pretty soon, I'm going to add some protein to it. I'm gonna be adding the Ghost peanut butter cereal milk protein powder, and I'm gonna just like blend it up with the coffee, um, because just to add a little extra protein into my diet before I go work out. So yeah, the coffee's ready. Let me pour it in and blend it up and then add some black milk. That tub's almost done, so I'm gonna add also then cashew milk into it. And this is the final product and it tastes amazing. So I'm gonna sip this, get dressed, and then have to go to the gym. Uh, 
Sorry, that thing is on, it's loud, but I'm getting ready to go to the gym. My pre-workout's in my car, but I'm gonna grab up my EAAs. So yes, now I'm taking EAAs instead of just BCAAs. If you'd like for me to make a video on talking about why I switched to doing EAAs over BCAAs, I can do that for you guys, and yeah. But I'm just taking this brand right now. Um, it's one I got at a uh, vitamin shop for fairly inexpensive. Well, I mean, it's also the cheapest out of all of them. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna take this with me. And I'm gonna go hit back and biceps. I'm not gonna film this workout because I feel like I've put up a lot of back and bicep workouts. So you guys can go check out one of those. And I'll see you afterwards. So I am back from the gym and I am so hungry. So I'm gonna make a salad, a vegan chicken salad with this salad mix. I get it from Vaughn. It's actually the best salad mix. I used to always get the one from Sprouts, but that one has cilantro in it and it just adds something to it. So, and I have to grab my garden, which is in the other fridge, and so I'm gonna have some of that on top of it. Throw some Walden Barnes dressing, and yeah, it'll be delicious. So I got my salad with the scallopini. That's what this is, chicken, scallopini. It's like one of the few things that they actually have that's gluten-free. And then Walden Farms sesame ginger dressing, and yeah, I'm gonna eat this and get back to you for whatever I eat after that. So I'm gonna have another salad right here, no chicken on top of this. And I feel like I should address the fact that, yes, I like to eat mock meats, mainly because they are actually pretty high in protein. Ironically enough, um, they have a good amount of protein in them. And for me being a bodybuilder, I always like to make sure I get enough protein in my body. Now I could get it through other sources, other plant sources very easily, but I also just like the taste and I don't think there's anything wrong with saying that I like the taste that it's very familiar to meat because I did go vegan, you know, for animals and meaning I used to eat meat and I know exactly what it tastes like and I can admit I used to enjoy the taste of meat so that doesn't mean um, I'm not allowed to enjoy something that kind of replicates that but is doing no harm to animals. So for me, that's the reason why I eat mock meats because I know some people are like, it makes no sense, you're vegan, but you are imitating meat. And I mean, of course they're also done so to show people that you don't have to eat meat to get that same delicious flavor that you may be craving. Because guess what? We can make it out of plants and there's zero harm done to animals or the environment because of it. So that's just like a reason why I like to have it. But yeah, give them a try even if you're not vegan and see what I'm talking about. No, they're not gonna 100% taste like your ribeye steak or your burger or piece of chicken, but I think they do a pretty darn good job at replicating them. And for me, it, it's more so for the animals than it is for just trying to replicate it, plus health. Like, I'm consuming no cholesterol from doing that. I'm, my body's a lot healthier. Like, I've gotten full blood tests and the only thing I was deficient in was vitamin D, which is sunlight. And so that's easy to supplement. So, just, just, just a little tidbit there. Mm. Rice cake with peanut butter. Always the best snack. I'm probably gonna um, make some tea. And then I'm gonna make my protein zucchini bowl in just a bit. Um, so just kidding, I decided to go for coffee. Decaf, that is of course a decaf coffee with some cashew milk in it and some calorie-free, calorie calorie-free, calorie-free. That's gonna be a new word, calorie-free sweetener. No, calorie-free sweetener. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm crazy here now. Having another of my like zucchini protein bowl with textured vegetable protein zucchini and then I use the ghost protein powder that stuff is pretty good it's really flaky so every time I pull out the darn scoop like the protein goes everywhere it's so annoying <laughs> um, but it tastes good and then I put on top of it I mix some PB2 powdered peanut butter with some more of my argan coconut butter yo sponsor me what's up where you at GP but yeah I'm gonna eat that and then I still have macros left and I kind of want to finish them before 8 o'clock. So we'll see, we'll see. Another rice cake. This one's a caramel rice cake with cashew butter on top because your girl gets lots of fats on her low carbs day. Mm. So good. 
Mm. All right, guys, so last meal, whatever, because it counts, there's calories in it, because there's gonna be milk in it. I'm gonna have some tea. Have this cranberry vanilla tea. Um, yeah, it's decaf, or caffeine free, I mean. And then I'll put some flax milk in it, and that might be it, I don't know. I'm a little low on my protein technically, but I don't know. Maybe I'll just have like a little bit of protein powder. We'll see what I do. Yeah, so I'm just having 11 grams of protein. Gonna mix it with water and the kettle is heating up so I could have tea. All right, guys, so that is everything I ate today. How exciting, I know, right? Um, yeah, so. Low carb, starting this new cycle, even though it's gonna be weird when next week I have to go to Australia. So we'll see how it all plays out this week goes. And plus, I may start a prep soon. I don't know, not 100%. So I, th I feel like it's a little crazy right now. But for now, just gotta get through this week feeling steady. And then obviously next week we'll be very loosely tracking if I'm gonna be traveling and not really working out. So we'll see how that goes. Maybe I'll bring my camera, maybe I won't. It might be a little difficult to vlog because I don't really know the itinerary since the trip is all travel based, not you know for pleasure. So we'll see how that goes. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And yeah, you can go ahead and click that subscribe button, join the Fit Fam Band. Stay tuned for whatever does come next because I will make more content. Yes, and hopefully once work starts, I'll also be able to stay on top of creating content because that's definitely important to me. So yeah, I'm gonna go to bed. I'm gonna take off my makeup, clean my face, and I don't know watch some Netflix or some YouTube. Yeah, love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.